In this demo, I'm going to be showing you a, a simple uh, sales order put into Maya Advanced that will be picked, uh, packed into a pre-printed pack um, and dispatched using uh, a Star Trek courier label. Uh, so I'll show you from start to finish in, uh, in real time. So what we're going to be using today is some pre-printed pack labels that we can see uh, on the left here. So uh, these are a Vexo pack labels, I'll be scanning one of those. These are attached to the boxes as you put the items in them and you can have as many boxes per order as you like. Uh, we'll also be using the Avexo uh, application here um, for doing the actual picking and we'll be using Marv Advanced and Avexo's uh, configurator uh, connect to, um, to dispatch via the courier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter a sales order. So we're going to quickly enter a sales order uh, for one of these. That will be it. And then we're going to create the shipment from the sales order. And the Vexor picks up the shipments. So we do the shipment and we will transfer that shipment <coughs> into a Vexo. So we go back into Avexo here. So Avexo, this is the Avexo uh, main screen. From here we can do the, lots of the warehouse management functions that you uh, need to do in Avexo, such everything from receipting to checking and dispatching, delivering via drivers and manage and the stock management things as well. So in this case we're going to go into the picks. Um, we're going to select a pick and this gives us a list of items that need to be done. Um, obviously it's just test, we've got all sorts of things, but if we go to the bottom, we should see our order there, 100344, has appeared at the bottom. So select that order. Uh, it gives us an overview of what the pick is and what packs we've created. Obviously we've got none, but we have got some pick lines to do. Um, and we can create the pick. So to create a pick, we just to get into the pick, we just press pick. Uh, on this screen, we can have as many attempts as we want. There's only one item. If I scan the wrong product, it's going to tell me it's the wrong product. If I scan the correct product, it's going to move to a quantity screen. This is not batch numbered or serial numbered, so we simply have to say that we've picked one. And then it's asking us to assign a pack number. So we'll assign one of, we'll, we'll put one of those uh, pre printed pack labels on the pack, and then we will scan it. Now, because it's the only item on the pick, it goes straight to the complete pack screen. So if we had 10 items, we can put five in one pack and five in another. We would have two packs here. But for this quick demo, it's got one. Um, we can review what's in the pack. So we're just going to close that pack now. So we just click close. Uh, we have some pre-printed box sizes, etc. In this case, I'm going to say it's a small box uh, because we dispatched it by curry. It's asking us what the weight is. About five, five kilos. Um, we've pre-filled two of the dimensions, so we only have to fill in one. So I'm going to put in uh, 15 centimeters. And there's our summary screen. So it tells us that it's uh, a small box. Um, it weighs 1.55 kilograms, and those are the dimensions. Um, we can select which printing station we're closest to. Um, so or we can have a default. Uh, and then we we print the label. So what that does is it's going to print out a label. We use internet printing to generate that label. Um, the label will print out on the um, uh, on the nearest printer. And I should receive a pack label here. which tells me what's in the box and where it's going. So if we return to the screen now, uh, that item has dropped off the list because we've finished it. All right, so now we've finished with the, the iPod, we can go back into uh, Vexos Configurator and we'll go back in and we'll see that now we have a box to dispatch which weighs 1.55 kilograms. Uh, it says it's tall, but what we're gonna do is we can change that to Star Trek. Uh, the first thing that happens is it validates the address. We can see that the address is okay. If the, if the address was incorrect, it gives us a list of valid 
postcodes. What we're going to do is we're just going to select Star Trek and we're going to send it out premium. So all the boxes appear here. Uh, we can edit the box contents if we want to. If we say actually it's only 10 centimeters, we can do that. We can change the weight before we dispatch it. And then the next thing we do is we click dispatch. Goes away to Star Trek, prints, gets the labels, and then we print the labels. And there we have one label for Jason Mumby. So I will be getting my main dry carton very shortly. Uh, and that is what I'm going to show you.